If you have recently updated your iPhones to iOS 26 and facing severe battery drain issues, then watch this video. This will solve all your problems. So in iOS 26, there are two main things that drains battery a lot. The first thing is definitely this liquid glass effect that goes in this notification panel. You can see that you can't read these notifications properly because of this liquid glass effect. And you can see whenever I do like this, this gets this reflection. And even below the notification panel, you have the Updation going on this takes a lot of battery and the second thing that happens is whenever you take your phone in your hand and move your hands like this can you see around the icons there is an outline that moves along with your motion so this always uses the uh, gyroscope of your phone and also refreshes your screen even when your screen is idle so generally in iOS 18 when you have your screen like this and you take it in your hand and move like this none of your screen refreshes so it just uh, refreshes in one Hertz but right now if you look at this Apple TV TV icon you can see this border moving along and this makes your phone refresh a lot so you can do two things to uh, stop this battery drain first thing is go to the settings and then go to accessibility and here you can open display and text and then you can see an option called reduce transparency so just before turning this on you can see this is how the notification panel looks now I am going to turn this reduce transparency and then you can see the notification panel has changed right now you don't see the transparent blur effect below your notifications but rest of the liquid glass effects are still there you can see these liquid glass effects are there but below the notifications there are no liquid glass effects so this will improve your battery life now the second thing that you can do is in the same accessibility settings you can go to motion and here you have an option called reduce motion so right now if you see I do like this it goes in a way it flies and then when I move my uh, hands then this border also updates instead of that just go to settings and then turn on reduce motion now when you turn on this reduce motion what happens is when I just slide like this it directly goes to the home screen and here you can see that that effect is no longer there so when I move my hands like this this is consistent so this will not reduce the battery this will not refresh the screen now again in this particular settings you don't see most of the transitions so it might feel a little bit odd so if you want to get the transitions just uh, go to the settings and also turn on prefer crossfade transitions in this way you can get this uh, slight crossfade animations going on along so this will not hinder your experience that much but still save the battery now the next big battery drain is of course this new wallpaper if you see this wallpaper whenever I move my hand the wallpaper moves along with my hands so this gives a 3d depth effect so what you can do is uh, do not use this 3d depth effect wallpaper so just tap and hold your wallpaper and then go to customize and then you can see this particular icon this is for the 3d depth so you can just turn that on uh, you will be able to disable this particular 3d wallpaper and this will improve your battery uh, significantly and now the third important thing that you can do is definitely Apple knows that iOS 26 has drained battery a lot so they have already pushed an update for fixing this so you can just go to general and then go to software update and then you can see the software update is already released by Apple so this has a lot of bug fixes so if you want a better battery life definitely you have to go and do this particular update the next thing I would recommend is go to settings and then go to battery here you can see a power mode open the power mode and you can see an option called adaptive power just turn on this adaptive power and your iPhone will recognize how you are using your smartphone and based on that particular use this will automatically adjust your battery life and also to keep your battery in good condition just go to charging and then limit your charging to 95 percentage so this will not drain your battery cycle making your battery last longer next thing that looks fancy but people don't use that much is go to settings and then go to general and then here open airdrop and bringing devices together this is something that looks cool during the apple demos but none of the people use it in real life so just turn that off and then if you're not using airdrop at all just turn off the receiving whenever you want to use just turn it on now the next hidden setting that drains a lot of battery is go to settings and then here you can go to uh, privacy and security and then open location services inside this location services just scroll down and open system services in system services there are a lot of things that use up your location in the background so whenever you see this particular icon which is uh, 
purple that means your phone is using the location what you can do is uh, whichever is there in the product improvement like the improved location accuracy improve iphone analytics uh, routing and traffic you can turn this off and also open the significant locations so this is actually using your location to give you relevant information but this does not work at all so just turn off significant locations altogether and this will save a lot of battery and then in this particular section i would say if you're not using apple pay just turn this off uh, you can then turn off home accessories if you're not using one then satellite connection is not something that you use you can turn it off alerts shortcuts and automations if you're not using it you can turn it off uh, you can keep the compass calibration on to get the compass in the maps application and uh, the motion and distance and mobile network search uh, this can be kept on Cl turn this on turn on the status bar icon so whenever it is using a location you get this icon notified so that you get to know the battery is being drained i know people like to use widgets but most of the widgets are something that we never use so you can see there are two widgets here right but if i scroll like this this is not actually two widgets but it's a stack now this is a map this map is something that we never use as a widget so if you don't like if you don't use a widget just tap and hold the widget and then remove it uh, so this would save a lot of battery also there are many applications that use data and other stuff it runs in the background so if you don't want to do that just go to settings and then uh, go to general go to background app refresh and here you can see all the applications are turned on so right now i don't use apple tv so turn that off stocks doesn't need to run in the background so i can turn that off and now i don't hear podcast pages numbers then i don't use journal free form books apple store so you can just turn off all the things that you don't need for it to run in the background this can also save a ton of battery next common thing that happens whenever you update to a particular os is the apps might have fixes for that particular os so just go to your app store and then click on your icon and go to apps and then see which all applications have updates so uh, if you have an application that has an update just go and do the update now the next thing i think most people might know that whenever using an oled display you have a white background it consumes a lot of battery so just uh, go to your display and then uh, turn on the dark mode so this will turn off the pixels that are not that are black saving you a ton of battery most people might have upgraded their smartphone to get the new apple intelligence but there is a slight problem with this apple intelligence so if you don't like using the apple intelligence you can directly turn it off in the settings and if you do use apple intelligence i would recommend just go to notifications and then you have the summarize notifications most of the time the summaries doesn't work it doesn't make sense and uh, if you don't like it just turn this off it would save a ton of battery it would uh, not delay the notifications notifications would come instantly and it would not drain battery also if you don't like the priority uh, notifications you can turn that also off this would also improve the battery significantly i hope this video helped you save a lot of battery if so then definitely leave a comment a like and if you want more such videos do subscribe and hit the bell icon until next time bye bye